Aquariuses, this is Stars Empress Wisdom. I'm here today to give you a love reading. If you're new to my channel, that's cool. Welcome. I use my own playing cards that I find everywhere I go um, to get divine insight. Um, basically, what I do, you know, I know the meanings of the cards, but I allow my cards to name themselves when I get them based on the meanings of the cards. So I'm just I'm a card collector as well as uh, <laughs> getting intuitive insight. But anywho, so what's up Aquarius? Um, I'm going to give you a love reading. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking about you, feeling about you, and what their next steps are going to be towards you, their intentions towards you in the near future. Also, I will be getting some advice from Spirit. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, if this resonates with you, that's awesome. Like, share, add, subscribe, all that good stuff. If it doesn't resonate with you, this message may not be for you. It may be for someone around you. Or check your um, birth chart, your placements, things like that. Typically with love readings, Venus, your Venus is um, the one that will resonate. But, you know, it could be your sun sign as well. So if this resonates, cool. If all of it resonates, that's even better. If only a part, leave the rest Okay, if, if only a part of it resonates, leave the rest behind. Anywho, let's get started. Alright, Aquarius. So what is your person thinking about you at this time? This could be a soulmate, a twin flame, or it could be someone from your soul tribe, a family member, or a friend. But again, this is love. So anyone that you're thinking about in love. Okay, so how does this person... How is this person thinking about you at this time? Oh, this person feels like you are their soulmate. A positive, true love situation. So, this person feels like you may be, you know, you're their life partner. That's super awesome to have starting off Aquarius. So, this person feels like, you know, you're a positive soulmate. But, you guys aren't starting over. So this person is thinking that you're good for them, but they're not starting over with you. Maybe because someone is being uh, overly emotional about something or manipulating a situation. That you may be dealing with a water sign, a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Or maybe they feel like you know you are you're you guys aren't starting over because you're overly manipulative. I mean you're overly emotional and manipulative. Um, but oh look at this! Hold on, a pear. That's so cute. Okay, so maybe they feel like you're being overly emotional or manipulative about a situation, but they do have deep love for you. So. Um, this person could also be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, but this person has love for you, obviously, um, this isn't even the feelings part, and hearts is popping up in, in their mind, so, um, they love you, it's just looking like they're not starting over with you, you know, for some reason. They want to get out of being stuck in this situation. Maybe they're stuck on the past. Or maybe you're stuck on the past. Yeah, this could definitely be an earth sign that you're dealing with. So this person may feel like, you know, you're being greedy and materialistic, you know, um, and they don't want to be with someone like that. Or maybe you feel like they're greedy and materialistic and you know, could possibly be a hypochondriac, you know, always making stuff up, you know, this person, it looks like, because look, overly emotional, manipulative, you know, it may just be certain traits that, you know, they feel like they can't deal with, you know, in a, in a connection, nobody wants to be manipulated, you know, or maybe, again, Aquarius, this could be you feeling like this about this other person. You don't want to be manipulated. You don't want this, you know, drama, someone overly emotional, somebody, you know, always saying something's wrong or, you know, somebody crying wolf all the time. 
Let's see. But this person is waiting for good news. Um, and they want to communicate. So maybe they're waiting for you to communicate to them. But, you know, they're fighting about family. They're fighting about family, some type of family situation. Maybe you guys are not together. You guys may be divorced or broken up or something like that. And you guys may be fighting over family like a custody battle or something like that. Um, they may be looking for you to give them good news about money that you're going to give them. Because you may be, um, this may be your ex, you know, like, look, we may not be together. We may not be starting over. I may love you, you know deep in my heart but we not starting over and i'm looking for this you know because i'm not dealing with somebody that's you know manipulative and stuff like that no more so <laughs> i'm not saying this i'm just you know thinking about us you know talking about a scenario so that's the scenario that popped up yeah uh, look a family situation and getting married so maybe they feel like you're getting married to someone else and so they feel like, you know, there is no point to even worry about us starting over because you were, you know, you already moved on. You probably about to marry somebody else. All I'm worried about is you supporting this family that you already made. So, but again, like this person loves you. So they may just be being stubborn about the situation. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they're lacking financially and they're looking for, you know, they need your support. Um, and you're gone at the moment. You travel, it looks like. And you're successful and ambitious and you're, you know, but this person may feel like you're just, they can't work things out with you for some reason. But they do want a passionate new beginning. So, but they're just guarded and their feelings are hurt. So, Again, um, this person may be not wanting to start over with you because they're guarded about you guys' past situation, and they may be feeling like, you know, well, you're, you did this, and you did that, and you're, you're manipulative, and all this stuff, and it may just be as simple as, you know, you guys just need to press restart, you know, because they do have love for you. They do. The first thing that popped out was that, oh my gosh, look. Ten of Cups. They feel like you're their Ten of Cups and you are their emotional, you know, their your complete emotional fulfillment. Maybe there was some cheating. Somebody was juggling. And maybe they, you know, can't move on move past that. Maybe that's why they're not starting over with you. Again, this could be vice versa. Yeah, and there was fighting. Maybe at work. Maybe there was a, a work affair type situation and your person is just not with that and your person is maybe they may be overly emotional about the situation and their new offer that they want is material wealth so they're looking for you know they're looking for the coins right now um let's see how this person feels about you in their heart look at this Maybe they want to get, you know, maybe as a divorce and they want to get remarried back to you, but then they also don't want to start over because they're, you know, afraid of the whole juggling partner situation from the past, probably. Yeah, they're, you know, they feel like you're single by choice, or maybe they're single by choice. But again, they love you. So this person could be a, um, an earth sign or an earth sign with water in their chart. Yeah, this person wants a new offer. And they're trying to think positive about dropping the baggage of the past because they're in love with you, Aquarius. They're in love with you. They're still in love with you. Which, you know, it, it is what it is. When you, you know, if you love somebody, you know, you got to either learn to forgive them. Or, you know, but see, they're, they're in love with you, but they're thinking about this pregnancy type situation. Or, you know, maybe um, they thought maybe you cheated and you got someone pregnant or something like that. Um, or maybe they thought you got someone pregnant. But either way, they love you. It looks like you have kids with them. They have a happy life with you or they had a happy life with you, you know, it looks like or they want a happy life with you. But. Let's see what um, actions they're going to take in the near future. 
because it looks like they may be a little bit confused on what they want. Alright, so their actions that they're going to take towards you in the near future. Oh. They're definitely indecisive because they feel like there is a third party situation, a third party person in, who is competition for them. So they're indecisive about this third party person. Or it could be um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Just someone in, in between in the way of your situation that they feel like is competition. So let's see what moves they're going to make towards you in the near future. Yeah, it looks like maybe there was a pregnancy or a pregnancy scare, and that ended the situation, basically. You know, someone may, and so their heart chakra is healing from this situation. They're trying to move past it. Um, they're trying to move forward, but it's still, you know, it's still maybe hurting this person a little bit uh, about the things that you guys went through. But regardless of that, they still have love for you, a lot of love for you. So maybe they just need to work on their heart chakra healing. Yeah, they feel like you are the family man, family woman that they want. Or vice versa, you may feel like they are the family man or family woman that, you know, you want and need in your life. And um, they looks like they still want to be with you. And a Leo just popped up. Maybe this other, uh, maybe there's a, a Leo that's in between this situation. Or, yeah, a group. It could be a family, you know, family probably got in the way of your situation. And, you know, um, that could be an issue right there. Because sometimes family can be meddlesome and, you know, people break up and they don't even know why. And it could just be because it was just too much conflict, too much competition, too many, you know, too many people grabbing for everyone's attention when it just needs to be love in between the two. You see that horn? <laughs> Anyways, let me get some advice first from Spirit for you, Aquarius. But again, looks like your person is in love with you. Your person may be a Leo too. Um, they may be Earth sign. They may be a uh, Water sign, or have Leo in their chart as well. But either way, you know, they love you. Advice for Aquarius: The Ascendant Masters are helping you. You have protection. You know that your angels are trying to protect you. 33 is my Ascendant Masters card. Um, you have protection. Be careful of your surroundings. You know, again, there could be people being meddlesome in your relationship, which has caused this breakup. May not even be y'all two. That's that's the issue. Well, besides the cheating whole situation that possibly happened. But anyways, um, we you can move forward past that. It's your choice, free will. You either uh, you can either let go and move forward. Or they can either let go and move forward with you or, you know, they can cut their losses. But it looks like they love you, so that would suck. Um, maybe you were being immature in love and needed some emotional growth or they needed some emotional growth. And that is what was an issue in the past. But I think that if uh, you guys remain positive and fo oh, think positive, wow. If you guys think positive and release fears and doubts and get back to the love between the two of you and do some healing, maybe counseling or something, I see that you guys could possibly get back together because there is real love there. Anyways, Aquarius, till next time. Later.